Welcome to Unit 7, which is about slicing. So far, you have always accessed either a complete list or individual elements of a list by using an index within this list. Now, what is slicing? By the means of slicing, you are able to access a part of a list. You can create sublists. So, for example, the list, the sublist containing only the first three elements of a list. How is this done? Actually, you specify the first and the last index of your sublist, and similar to the range, uh, the first index which you give is part of the sublist, whereas the second is not. Actually, you can include a third parameter, which defines a step. It's actually the same way as you have seen in ranges. The single parameters are separated by columns. Let's dive into our notebook. It's showtime. Open the notebook and we can, will continue there. Let's first have a look at the syntax. So you can see we have our list and we have a start and we have a stop value which are separated by a colon. And again, the start value is an index, the stop value is an index, and the start value is the first, which is part of the sublist, whereas the stop value is the first, which is not part of the list at the end. So the list goes to index, the sublist goes to index start to stop minus one. If you would like to include the very last element, you simply leave away the second parameter. And you can do so with the first parameter as well. So if you have some slicing like column and stop value only, then it always starts with the first element. And if you do not have start and stop value at all, you simply include these uh, columns, then actually you have the complete list. Let's have a look. Let's check an example. We have our list consisting of these uh, odd numbers 0 to 10. And if we now say print even numbers 2 to 4, very important, it's uh, the index 2, not the value 2, then 0, 1, 2, it starts with a 4, uh, 3, 4, and it ends with the 8, where the 4 con is part of the sublist and the 8 is not part of the sublist. Let's execute this cell. Yeah, and you can see four, six are included. Eight, the element with the um, index four is the first, which is not. Nothing to three. You can see zero, one, two, three. It's the first three elements, O to four. And similarly, three to the end will include all elements, six, eight, ten. And again, as stated, the uh, brackets where stop and um, start and stop value are uh, deleted, are left away, and we only have the column. This is actually the complete list, as you can see here. We already pointed out that strings have list-like um, attributes. And actually, you can use slicing on strings as well. And if you do it, and we have this greeting, hello world, and we print only the slice of this string starting with index 3 and going to eight, index 8, not including 8, then you see this low row, which is actually this part of the string we have sliced. Of course, you can use a negative indices as well. As you have learned, minus 1, the index minus 1 is actually the last element of a list, minus 2 is the second last element, and so on. So, if we have our list in our example, 1, 2, 3, and we take, uh, execute it, then you see here we do not slice at all, we simply go to our last element. If we create a slice from minus 2 to the end, 
it actually includes the second last elements. Uh, it's, it's a list, it's a sublist consisting of seven and eight, the two last elements. And um, if you go from the beginning to minus three, then we have one, two, three, five, four. So the third last element, the six, is the first one which is not included. We can include a third parameter, so to say, a third value in our slicing. Yeah, so far we have had start and stop. If we have a second colon, um, then we can include a step value as well. And actually it works like no range. Again, we create first a list. Now, you, now we use a range from 1 to 11, which means we have the values 1 to 10. And we use this casting operator, which transfers which uh, converts this range into a list and actually we have this list of numbers in here. Yeah, let's simply execute it so you see our list. Now we slice this list. We say every second number is a list starting with the element with the index number one, going to the end because we leave this second uh, number away and we use every second element. So as we go, you see here we have index 0, starts with index 1, this one is included and then it takes every second element, so the 4, the 6 and so on. And you see we get this list of odd numbers. And of course you can now play around with negative values, step values and so on and so on. Um, here we have created some examples. I recommend go through it carefully, have a look, play around it, change these values in the last cell in here uh, and just try to find out what happens. So again we create a list uh, with the numbers from 1 to 15, 16 is not included. If we simply leave away start and stop parameter, parameter but include the minus 1 as a step then you see the reverse list is simply the way a list starting by 15 and ending with 1. And uh, if you have a list starting at the very beginning, going to minus 5, 4, and we do it, we go backwards, then you can see it's the list with four, 15, 14, and 13. Again, I recommend play around with these options you have. This slicing can look weird, especially if you have negative indices or go, trying to go backwards, but uh, simply give it a try. Let's come to our exercise. Create a list containing all the elements from 1 to 20. Actually, we can take the code from here. Now, of course, we have then to change this value. No, we can include this one as well. We run it and you see we have a list from 1 to 20. Now we should use a slicing operator to output elements with index 0 to 4, 4 to 8 and 8 to 10. And of course, uh, let's do it in the next cell. Um, print numbers. We have to slice from 0 to 4, yeah? so 4 should be included, so we have to take this, the next one. Yeah? Print from 4 to 8, yeah? we have to, it should be S numbers, um, from 4 to 9 and 8 to 10 the indices, print numbers with a slice from 8 to 11. So if you execute it, you see all elements are included, starting with 1 going to 5, 0 to 5, 0 to 4 are 5 uh, elements, and just check the rest. 
So what have you learned? You can create sub lists of lists. This is called slicing and actually this works not only for lists, this works for all types of sequences.